I think it would be helpful to start with why Art Camp was started in the first place. And I believe the original intent was to make sure that kids in the community had this opportunity no matter their income level. And we wanted all kids to be able to experience art and explore that side of themselves because a lot of kids are really talented in that area and don't know it. And so, and also the flip side of that is art is not in the schools as much as it used to be. And so if they can spend some time in the summer getting into that and finding out some new talents that they didn't know they had, then that's kind of a win-win for everybody. Um, and so that's what we are continuing to do every summer is offer that to kids in the community and yes, there is a fee, but we have plenty of scholarships to go around. So if a kid um, cannot pay for art camp, they can still come. Exactly. It started actually in the late 1990s. And okay. it, it was just something that was lacking in the community. Parents were looking for something for their children to do. And, and the format of it is three hours in the morning and three hours in the afternoon, which gives parents enough time to go out and do take care of some business. It also allows their children to tap into this creativity and to do something they enjoy during the summer months and to produce some things by the end of the month. Um, and at the end of the session, we have an art camp reception on August 4th where all of them can have their work displayed in the main gallery. And that's a really exciting time for them too. So, so this year we have drawing and clay. We've had several multimedia classes, which means they're gonna draw, sculpt, paint, um, get into some even crafty kind of things. We have a cr class that is just crafts. Um, we have several fiber art classes. We had one on architecture that was fantastic. So kids toured the buildings locally, like they went on a walking tour and got to see what elements were here locally, got a lot of history on them, then they came back and built architectural elements from all through history. So it was a really robust class where the kids learned a lot about buildings and city planning and things like that. So it was a pretty good wide variety of things. And if a kid came, you know, not really knowing what they were good at, they were able to figure it out by the end of the week. And we've had a lot of, I guess, success stories from kids really getting into this where they didn't think they would. And it's for ages four to 14, yeah. which really is a great thing. They're not all in the same classes, obviously. <laughs> we have a four and five year olds are together, six to 10 year olds and 11 to 14 year olds, but mm -hmm. it's great. And they make friends through the years yeah. and, and interact with the children that they don't normally see because we have grandparents who bring their kids in from Beaumont and Oklahoma and yeah. Austin and all over the place. So it's really fun. Total, we have about 350 enrolled because some kids are coming back for multiple weeks. We saw 270 kids in June, and we're seeing between 60 and 100 kids a week. And so, and it, we kind of have to wait till they all show up to see what our actual numbers are. Yeah. Um, but we have a wait list, so if a kid doesn't show up, we're able to call somebody on the wait list and get that spot filled. How does it feel for you guys to be offering something like this to the community, to the kids? Oh. It's why we're here. Yeah. I mean, I, I go back to that. We were founded in 1976 because there wasn't a place in the community. We wanted to fill the void for kids that couldn't get to Dallas, Houston, Austin, have exposure to culture and art ex education experiences. So I get chills and I'm getting emotional. <laughs> what happens every time I talk about it? it it's the reason we're here. Yes. So it feels good. <laughs>